Good morning. And the warmest of welcomes to you all as you join us this morning for worship in DL St Andrews. And a special welcome to those of you joining us online. This morning, I think, is the most exciting service and anticipated service of this year. The nativity performed by the young people in our Sunday school and Bible class, and also the, even the youngest in the creche. So during the nativity, there are going to be a number of traditional carols to be sung. So please, if you're able to do so, stand and join in with these. Now, following the service, the Christmas tea is available in the large hall for everyone to come and join in. It would be great to see you all there. But can you please be aware of the youngsters on your way through? Um, some of them are quite small. Tomorrow evening at half past six, there's a family Christmas Eve service, which is going to be taken by some of the young parents in the congregation. And that will be followed by tea and coffee in the large hall. At 11.30 tomorrow evening, there's a watch night service in the sanctuary, which is going to be conducted by the Reverend Ian, McDonald, Ian McKenzie. Sorry. This will be preceded by tea and coffee and mince pies in the large hall from about 10.45. So please come along and join us for that. On Christmas morning, there's a short act of worship, which is going to be led by the interim moderator, Murdo MacDonald, at 11 o'clock. So children and adults are asked to bring along a gift to show everyone. So please, if you're available to come along to any of the services, please do so. It would be great to have you here. One of our online worshippers, Franz Jan van Steenbeck, who watches online from the Netherlands, Netherlands each week, has contacted us during the week and asked us to pass on his blessings to everyone for Christmas and into the new year. This morning, it's the turn of the fourth candle in the Advent crown to be lit. Jean Stevenson is going to do this on behalf of all the Sunday school. This candle is the candle of love. Jesus demonstrated his self-giving love in his ministry as the Good Shepherd. Advent is a time for kindness, thinking of others, and sharing with others. It's a time to love as God loved us by giving us his most precious gift. And as God is love, let us be love also. Now, with all the notices out of the way, we move on to the most important part of this morning, the nativity. So over to Fusion, who begin the greatest journey. Welcome to our Christmas service. Today we will be re retelling the Christmas story and there will be a chance for everyone to get involved. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 to 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the chance to remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus. As we journey through this story, we ask that we could show us once again why this is one of the most important stories we could ever show. Amen. Now let us sing, O Come All Ye Faithful. journey ever. We'll be retelling the Christmas story and we'll be going on a Christmas journey together. Okay, are we ready for our Christmas story to begin? <coughs> now before we do anything else, because we're going on an adventure, I need to put on my walking boots. Do you want to put on your walking boots too? In the story, there are four special journeys that happened over 2,000 years ago. Mary and Joseph, the wise men, and even the shepherds all travelled a long way to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We're, today we're going to follow in their footsteps and travel these journeys too. Right, let's go. There was a couple called Joseph and Mary and they, they went on a journey all the way to Bethlehem. All the way to Bethlehem, so Caesar wants to count us. Uh-oh, Romans, tall, scary Romans. We can't jump over them, we can't crawl under them. Oh no, oh no, we'll have to walk between them. Stepy step, walkity walk, stepy step. They went together on their journey. Soon they were going to marry and they were going to be a family because Mary was having a baby. So join us and sing in O Little Town of Bethlehem. <laughs>
The time came to have the baby, but where could Mary and Joseph stay? Got to find a place to stay. Can Mary's have a baby? Uh oh, no bed, no big bouncy bed. Can't stay in the hotel, we can't stay in a spare room. Oh no, we all sleep with the animals. Eat up, woof, eat up, bah, eat on the There was no room for them in the inn, so Mary wrapped the babe in strips of cloth and found a manger to lay him in.
Some wise men had seen a star in the sky and knew a king was to be born. So they followed the star, they went to worship and adore. Following the shiny star, Following the shiny star to worship the baby king, we've got loads of presents, gold, myrrh and frankincense. Uh-oh, King Herod, mean, nasty King Herod. We can't listen to Herod, we can't see where Jesus is. Oh no, we're going to have to leave in our way. Hump to hump, clip to clop, hump to hump. They found him and were thrilled with joy. The wise men were so happy. So they, they were careful to not tell King Herod and travelled home a different way. We are now going to sing Free, We Free King.
It's been a long journey for Mary and Joseph. It's been a long journey for the shepherds. It's been a long journey for the wise men. We've gone on a journey. We've glad we did so. We met someone special, but who was it? Big brown eyes and big cheeks, ten tiny toes on two tiny feet. Going home another way, humpty hump, floppity flop, humpty hump. Back through the sheep poo, squelch, squelch, squelch. Sing so long to the animals, eat all whoop, eat all ba, eat all nay. Mind the rolling, step to step, walk to walk, step to step. And finally we are home. You know, Jesus went on a journey. It really was the biggest one. All the way from heaven, because he came to save us. He came to live on earth with us, because he loves us very much. He was a child and had to learn things just as we do, only he never did anything wrong. When he grew up, he did amazing things. He did many miracles and taught people about God. He even brought people back from the dead. Only God can do that. And then he was put to death on a cross. He did it because he loved us and to save us from our sins. But he didn't stay dead. Now Jesus is alive again. His story hasn't ended. Jesus came on a journey. It really is the greatest one.
everybody for coming to today's service. I really hope you enjoyed following in the footsteps of the greatest journey ever. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you sent your son in a journey from heaven to earth to show your love for us so that you could be friends with you. Thank you that this message of hope Thank you that his message of hope, joy and peace is for all people. We pray that you will help people to know your hope, joy and peace this Christmas, particularly those in need. Amen. Well, what can I say? That was absolutely wonderful. Every single child in here took part in that, and it's absolutely amazing, and I'm sure every one of you will agree with me. It's a huge thank you to all the leaders for the organisation, for the work they've put in over the last few months with the children, and an even bigger thank you to these wonderful young people who have brought us the Christmas story, they have brought it to life to us this morning. So please, can you give them a huge cheer, Whistle, clap, stamp your feet, and just make as much noise as you can for every one of these kids. their work isn't finished. The Fusion are now going to uplift the offering.
Let us join together in prayer. Let us pray. Father God, accept our Christmas time offerings which we dedicate to you. May they indeed be used wisely for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth. And our prayers, Father, we offer, we praise you for all you have done, all you have shown us in Jesus. Now we know that you're not far away. We thank you that though we cannot always see you, you have promised that no matter what or who we are, no matter what we have done or failed to do, you will be very near to each and every one of us as we prepare for Christmas. Help us to remember the coming of Jesus, just as told by these wonderful youngsters in that lovely, lovely nativity play this morning. We praise you for the joy of his loving presence in all of our lives. Father, we praise you that he did indeed come into this world just as we did, as a helpless baby. We thank you that his coming has left us in no doubts about your love and mercy. We praise you that he's opened the way to real life now and for all eternity. Father God, our prayers we offer in the name of Jesus, that baby, that man, our saviour. In his name we pray. Amen. So now we come to, towards the end, just the, the two final announcements. Please do remember the congregational tea, which is straight through the door, all the way to the hall. Loads and loads of cake and shortbread. I might be first in the queue. <coughs> Wonderful. Look forward to that. And also, of course, just to remind everyone that we're going to ask our children and leaders to stay just for a wee minute at the end, please. There's been a few cameras going. Many cameras, right? So take every picture you want at the end. Here's your chance. So when we finish with the benediction, anybody wants to come forward and take some snaps, we'll ask all the youngsters to stay for another few minutes. So lead us to join them, please, and we'll get a lovely nativity picture. So let's come together as we close our morning worship with that great carol, Once in Royal David City Stood a Lowly Cattle Shed. <laughs> Head into Christmas, remembering, please, what our Bible says about that baby Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. His kingdom will never end. And the blessing of God Almighty, as Father, as Son, as Holy Spirit, be with each one of you and all whom you love, this day and forevermore.